Now we're going to show our last poem. And this is a poem that was written by Pablo Neruda from the South American country of Chile. What's the sign for Chile? <laughs> it's a really beautiful poem. It inspired me. I showed it to Kenny. I checked it out. I thought it was great. So we decided to steal it. We chopped it up, mixed it around so you can't recognize it. <laughs> Perfect time. And now we're going to show you what it came up with. This poem is about the conquistadors coming into the new world and the cultural clash that ensued. It's also about language. It's called Ode to Words. It's a Bible. It's a boat. Blowing dust on the waves. On the waves. At the shores of the new world. It's a palm tree, fully laden with coconuts dropping down. It's a Mayan temple of engraved steps with a king. Start over. Yes. You skip too many important things. Yay! He screwed up! <laughs> All these years, no video. Now there's a video and it's down! <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay. <laughs> Take two. It's a Bible. It's a boat. Blowing dust on the waves, on the waves. At the shores of the new world. It's a palm tree fully laden with coconuts dropping down. It's a Mayan temple of engraved steps, a snake of stone, a macaw frozen in flight. A man screams, and at the top, standing, Amongst poles of flames reflect the Mayan king, the king in his ceremonial headdress. He welcomes the Spaniard. And then he summons off of the rock a Mayan son. Rays. Hair and beard rays. He gives life to plants and they breathe together. He summons off of the step the birth of a Mayan woman. Hair, breasts, belly, cervix. She gives life. and then returns to the womb. He summons a Mayan temple with a king and a crown with a sword. In prayer, he gives blood.
the Spaniard. He turns the page, pulls out a word, breaks it, spins it. It swirls into a funnel of words, swirling, a hurricane. It's a hurricane that chases down the man. It chases down the man, and he screams as he's sucked up into the funnel. And then the storm hovers over a river. Waters, waters, pulled, pulled. As the river winds up into the storm, which disappears in the book. And the Spaniard turns the page and a word escapes. Words flowing off the pages, words, regiments of words. They line a field of maize blown in the breeze. Then words march forward. They devour the field, eating it down like locusts. They swarm, the temple crumbles, snake erodes. Macaw disintegrates. And the man screams as he's eaten off the wall. Palm trees ground down, down into dust. With an empty book, in a boat, fully laden, he carries off the gold, carries off the gold, leaving behind desolation, rubble, and a cross. But from underneath a broken rock is a glistening. It's a word. He breaks it, tastes it, shares it. A word cracked as a rainbow. Grammar, when stretched and wrung out, forms a school of fish, a bullfrog, a word caught. He peels it and then grates it down into a dust and breathes it in. Sentences like spaghetti slurped up. Punctuation points picked off like grapes. Water, refreshing, ASL. It's a fruit. The juices form a lake. And he licks it. Questions, answers, sex, sweat. It all goes into the broth. It's a painter and his portrait, a forest of trees, brush, undergrowth, a red-tailed falcon, it's a butterfly. Leaves, leaves falling, falling towards its reflection in the river. That's poetry, poetry, poetry. It's the Bombay doors opening. It's the mushroom cloud eating away hair, skin, teeth, bones. He's gone. Words, words. And he, and he carries off the gold. He carries off the gold. Thank you.